Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Norma. Hello, Mrs. Phillips. Are you How are you? you? I'm good, and you? I am good. Yes. I am good. Okay, I can hear you, but I can't see you. Are you are you hiding tonight? <laughs> no, it's because I there you I, are. <laughs> something because I see you in the smallest space. I see the big one. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> I said, what happened? I forget put my. My camera. Okay, I put volume. Volume. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Perfect. Perfect. Why do you Perfect. not? Why do you not put lipstick? 
I know I didn't put lipstick on tonight. I need to go run, put some on. Hang on. <laughs> Do this. <laughs> My lipstick on. Yeah, that looks me. better, huh? I look yeah, alive. Yeah, I'm alive now. My hair's flying. <laughs> look at it. Yes, oh. please. <laughs> I didn't put any hairspray on it, so. I know. <laughs> flying. How you doing, Mrs. Phyllis? I think okay. I'm full. We had we had tacos for supper, and I ate too much, so. Really? That's, that's what I was going to ask you. When y'all make tacos, like real tacos, what do you put on them? I mean, how do you make them? Oh, <laughs> so I put water, chocolate, um, milk. I'm making, uh, I don't know how you say that. And that's it only. <laughs> like, the, like the shell you make your own shells uh-huh okay and then what do you put inside it when you when you put them together chicken yeah, beef mm, we put the chicken or i, I can eat meat mrs phyllis i eat only chicken or fish yeah that's it only I like I like chicken. I I yeah I like chicken. I can eat meat because when I eat meat I don't feel good. I, last time I eat meat, I be in my bed one week because when I eat meat, oh. it makes I feel sick. Oh my goodness! Does chicken do that? Does chicken yeah, do that too? Yeah, chicken is good for me and fish, but every time when I eat meat, I don't know what happened with me. Give me two oh three days week. The last time my niece make a real nice food <laughs> dinner was because I see my husband said, try it. Okay, try it. When I see, I eat a one plate full. I eat all, but the next day I don't feel good. But third day I be in my bed. So oh, much good. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. yeah. We we eat lots of chicken. We like chicken yeah. better anyway. So yeah, I like especially red meat I can eat. I can't eat. Red meat is no good for my for me. I don't know what happened. I've been so what <laughs> because I have a lot of surgeries. They made me a lot of transfusion. I think I'm not sure. Maybe some people was the vegetarian. Uh-huh. I think because the last I the one time they put me eight unit the other time they put me seven units well i think yeah. it was for this i don't know <laughs> one day well, i think i changed all my blood <laughs> <laughs> every time every time every day, give me give me blood and more blood and more blood i don't know what happened but one day was i think so that when i had the third surgery i start to be i don't know what happened when my husband bring the food he gave me a little piece of meat. Oh no, I, I said, I can eat it. What happened? I don't know what happened. I gave me uh -huh. a lot of nauseous. I start to vomit. The oh, next time I try, it was saying, the next time I want try, it was saying, you know, I, I'm not eating no more. But oh, when wow. I try to eat, this is this is what the first symptoms. I can eat it, I can eat it, give me nauseous, my stomach, uh, don't, uh, I don't feel good with my stomach. The next time I try to eat, I don't feel good. But when I eat it, I start to sick. I don't know what happened. Hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
just don't eat it anymore, I guess. No, I, I don't eat, eat it. <laughs> eat, eat lots but of I vegetables. like it. I like it because when the people make, I like smell because I want to eat. I say, oh, delicious, but I can eat it. <laughs> Especially when they make a grill. It, oh, it smells good. <laughs> oh, I know. Yes, I yes. Start to stick. Grill steaks and grill hamburgers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can eat hamburgers. I like it. But before, I eat it well. But I don't know what happened. Maybe it was because, I think it was because they changed all my blood. <laughs> it may be. That may have something to do with it. I don't know. I don't know much about that. Mm -hmm. But now we've tried the... Um, the turkey burgers, the frozen uh -huh. burgers that are uh -huh. that are uh, made out of turkey meat, and we like uh -huh. those. Yeah, they. Could. Wonder if have you tried those to see if they make you sick? Uh huh. I wouldn't try. <laughs> Especially red meat, I can eat, but the other meat is good for me. Uh -huh. the, the other meat's okay. Well, yes. at least you can eat some kind of meat, and that's good. You can get your protein. So yes. Because I need I... protein too. <laughs> the people don't. They, this is the reason for uh, Hispanic people make a lot of a lot of parties sometimes. But when they invite me, I can go because it's most common they eat uh, meat. <laughs> yeah, I can eat meat. <laughs> when well, you ask yeah. the people say, "Why are you doing? Why you don't come in at my party?" I'm sorry, I have something. Do, do, <laughs> but the real the guy asked me for what you doing barbecue or grilling i said oh, i can <laughs> yeah i don't go yeah. anybody <laughs> only when the people make tamales <laughs> just tamales right <laughs> oh i love tamales oh i love tamales y'all yeah, make the best tamale i've never tried to make them I've seen mm -hmm. the recipe and it's so long. Mm -hmm. I'm going, oh, I could never do ah, that. It's very hard to do. It's very hard to do. This is very hard. I can do it. I never, they are so I never did good. because it's hard to do. Yeah, it's so good. I love it. Can Thanks. you freeze them like after you cook them? Can you put them in yes. the freezer and then? Yes. So like, yes. Oh, well, that yes, wouldn't be bad. Because yes. the, all the recipes I've seen make like huge bunches of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I go, we couldn't eat all those. So I didn't know <laughs> how well they did in the freezer. So. Yeah, you can put it in the freezer. When you like it, you eat it. You heat and eat it. <laughs> it's, it's good. That, that would be okay then. If you, could, yeah. if you freeze some. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, mercy. Maybe Pedro come today. I'm not sure. Because he no response. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What? Maybe Pedro come with us today. I don't know. I, he didn't. He didn't say anything back. So I don't know. Oh. Usually he responds, you know, yeah. but he didn't. And I haven't heard from Sonia mm. or Maria. Maria. Maria may still be sick. Have you talked to her? I no. She shared me a message last week. I talked with her. She said I have a lot of headache, but. Yeah, she, they, I asked the next day. She said last Friday. I said yeah, last Friday. But she said me can maybe she come this week. But I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. She has COVID time. No, I think so. It's the effect the COVID. But she did definitely have COVID. Yeah, they, did and her yeah. husband. Her husband had it too. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. her husband. She said me that her son started next her husband and Maria too bro mm. well they say some people have it bad you know yeah yeah but she she tell me that she has only headache but is the, yes the side Does she have effect. a fever does she have no, a high fever only headache no she she feels bad one week but now she no has COVID but she has the second effect or how you say symptoms right the, 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 because i hear a lot of people have second effect the covid they have a lot of two or three weeks with, with the headache or i don't know how, what is the other effect for the covid I, symptoms i don't know i've heard of a lot of people losing their taste and their smell 
Yeah. No. Ooh, that would be terrible. <laughs> I, I, would, I know. I would hate to do that, but maybe I would lose some weight that way. I don't know. Yeah. But the doctor says that the said that the COVID is only just one week. But the next week is the side effects. Is the is the cold? Yeah. They you have a lot of headache or diarrhea or any other symptoms. I, I don't know what is the other symptom, but he's, they, he's saying that the headache, a lot, they say that the people have a lot of headaches. Yeah, I've heard that, that they have a lot of yeah. headaches, uh, the stomach, uh, nausea, just nausea, bad nausea, yeah. and, uh, uh, and diarrhea. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard yeah. that too. So mm, it can do a lot of stuff to you. Mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Uh, but I think we've stayed, we've stayed, knock on wood or cross our <laughs> fingers and say a prayer. <laughs> yeah. We've, uh, we've not had it. So hopefully we can yeah. get the vaccine before yes. we can get it. But yeah. now they're doing 75 years old. So they're not going to do 65 until February, I think. So we got it. Yeah. A, a little ways to wait to get the vaccine, but okay. this... I'll be there to get mine. So <laughs> really, I have a little bit scared because I wait for the side effects. I'm not sure what is the better because yeah, I, I see that I think I see three companies. Is it Pfizer? What is the other one? I see two Johnson. I don't know what is the other. I forgot. I see Johnson, Pfizer. Uh, modern, moderna, moderna. I can see, but I don't know what is the better because the one I, I think so Pfizer has the two vaccines, Johnson has one. That I don't know. Our, what is. our doctor told us that they were all good as far as he knew. So, well, from what he had looked at, so when we I talked to him last Monday and he said, you know, any of the vaccines were good. that he knew of right now. Now, if somebody else comes out with one, you know, tomorrow, I don't know about, but, uh -huh. but uh, he said the ones out there now are good. So, okay. I, I guess go. I'll get mine, but you've got, you might need to ask your doctor yes. before you mm -hmm. took it because yes. of your, I think uh, so when they're ready, they call me. <laughs> they want to call me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because with all your health issues, you might, you know, mm -hmm. Close need to go head. ahead and take it or not take it one or the other i don't you know, know. <laughs> way. i have my my cause she got a vaccine yesterday or today i don't remember in mexico but she's nurse she's in the first line the, i i asked her, i i know she was today i think in the morning she got a, the vaccine in this morning Oh. They are in the first line, she is a nurse. I asked her, any, any side, she had any side effects? No, she said no, she was right now, no, but I asked tomorrow how she feeling. Yeah, my, my son-in-law, my son-in-law took it two weeks ago. He's had his second one. And the only thing he said, he said he had a little bit of a headache, but he took a Tylenol and it was gone, but said his arm was sore. It was real sore oh, for a while. Yeah. But, he really didn't have any big side effects from it at all. But every person is different. <laughs> exactly. Is yeah. Yeah. So I'm still gonna take it. I'm like, <laughs> I'll be waiting in line when they call me. So I know. <laughs> oh, I'm scared of that stuff. I just yeah. Oh. I have. I scared of coronavirus. I have scared about the vaccine. But well. We need it. <laughs> I know, I know. So, well, let's see. We might, well, let's see what time it is. It, well, I'll give, it's 6.56. I'll give Pedro a couple of more minutes. He's not on by okay. seven. We'll, we'll go ahead and start. Okay. But, uh, let's see. We're on page 112. Mm-hmm. As we finished all of, we finished all the synonyms and anonyms last week, so we're ready to go into the story yes. this week. So yeah, we finished. 
I was gonna do some um I'm working on some scramble sentences. So I'll have next week I'll have have some scramble sentences um along with, with mm -hmm. this and we'll practice on that some. And yes, um, I think we'll do a little little bit of work on pronunciation next week. Um okay. this week we'll just we'll this week we'll finish this um this lesson, lesson 14. Okay, Pedro, you've got two minutes. <laughs> I don't think he's coming. I, uh, sometimes oh, he is. Maybe no. Maybe his phone is not have charger. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. I know. <laughs> but well. But. How's your husband? Is he still feeling okay after he went back? Yeah, he's good now. Yeah, he started to work last week. He worked all week. He feels good. He has new money. He worked outside. But now, but in the afternoon, in the morning, he worked in the factory. But in the afternoon, he yeah. was... When when it's snowing too much, he worked. This is the reason for why he got a new money. <laughs> <laughs> I tell him, but... I don't know. Men are men, you know. Wow. Here, me. <laughs> when he started to sing, he said, "Yeah, I know you have the reason. Yeah, but now you don't want to tell me a reason." <laughs> but when he was very sick. Yeah. So he's better now. Well, I'm glad. Hopefully, he'll stay well the rest of the winter. So. Yeah, I will try. Oh. For me, it's okay. But he, he feel better. He start to work outside, <laughs> clean now, <or> anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it makes a difference makes a difference yeah, all right <sighs> okay i've got about seven so we're gonna go ahead and get started probably about the time mm -hmm. we get started he'll come pedro will come on so <laughs> okay mm -hmm. all right our new words are words for study at the top of the page uh, mm -hmm. that are going to be found in the story are mm -hmm. Margaret. Margaret, okay. Lucy. Lucy, okay. Gailey. Gailey. Mm -hmm. Clatter. Clatter. Hawk-nosed. Hawk-nosed. <laughs> Footsteps. Footsteps. Mm -hmm. Fumbling. Family. Quick. Quick. Arizona. Arizona. Bleachers. Bleachers. Usher. Usher. And sculpture. Sculpture. Mm -hmm. Most some of those are found in the story. Some of them are found in the um, uh, activities after the story. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll go ahead and read through the story um, and see if there are words that <clears throat> we need to uh, define or talk about, uh, get a definition for. Mm -hmm. And if you want to read, if you want to read that first side, like from the boys down to the bottom of the page, and then I'll read the second. Line, uh, okay. uh, second side if you want to do that so you don't have to read all of it unless you want to read all of it <laughs> okay uh, yes i like it i like it. you like to read it yes i like reading really stories <laughs> well you can you can read it till you get tired so <laughs> okay i want to try to start it. the voice in the street reminded her of the gangs in the movies and the apartment building was shabby, but Margaret was tired of looking for a place to live. She took the apartment. She was afraid for the day she moved in, but she hung several paintings and tried to think, and tried to think of the place as home. Still, she reminded Eunice, the dirty uh building, Uneasy? Uneasy. 
Uh -huh. Honestly, the dirty buildings and the gloomy street bothered her more each day. No, my life, she thought, is mostly fear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was the edge of the groups of the street late at night that made her most unis. The voices stood by the all night hamburger shop just outside the subway station on six. Six, no, six Avenue. They could not be more than 16 or 17. Uh, some seemed even younger. One boy really scared her. She stood out because of his color. His skin looked like green to her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the boy seemed to do nothing but wait. What they were waiting for was not clear. Their eyes followed her when she went into the subway station to go uptown. And their eyes were still there waiting when she returned. She was afraid at night and she felt she could not trust the bolt on the door. But Mr. T, who she brought up to look at it, would listen to her. Why that the good bolt? He said, you no be afraid with the bolt. It's fixed myself. What would you, she do? Wondering if somebody did break it? Surely no one will ever hear, hear her. No one will find her for days. The green-faced boy seemed to watch her from the first date, but it was some time during her second week there, there that they began to speak to her. It, it was always the same word. She didn't understand in at first. Hey, Lucy, she named it out of the last. Her first idea was that he said, Juicy, <laughs> which confused her, but Lucy was just a puzzling. Puzzling? Yes. <laughs> At home, she will stop working in the afternoon and lie onto the bed, thinking on him and the sneaky little gang always grouped around him. Is he always there? She wondered, doesn't he have a home? I don't know. On Saturday's nights, Margaret went to a party. She had six drinks, and during a pause in the talking, she heard herself, herself say, I wonder if in the rest of you feel as I do about the street these days. She know she had that too much to drink, too much to drink, but she could stop herself. Oh, bad idea. Mm -hmm. I mean the terror in the streets. Aren't any of you afraid to go out? Her her heart began pounding. <laughs> she knew that everyone in the room was starting at her, but she did oh, I lose. not try to hold back. I really can't see how you can talk so gaily about the life when life is like it is. She got up. She has said almost nothing all evening. And now she was talking like this. I thinking I had better go. And she walking out, not really caring that they talk about her. On her way home, she decided to stop. And the all night hamburger show for a cube dog coffee. She did not even glance at the boys as she passed them. She had just put down the money when the boys from outside come in. Her heart almost stopped. There were empty seats around her and they were tucking them. She put Thank the cup down. Uh huh. Uh, they were taking them instead taking of taking them. Okay, taking them. She put the cup down with the clearer. He was on the right and he was looking at her, 
the greenhouse knows it boy, but he would speak. She got up and hurried out the street. Hey! She glanced over her shoulder to see him on the doorway and she began to run. Footsteps behind her. Coming faster, she kept running on the four flights of stairs down the hall to her own door. Hmm. Flumbing with the luck, she heard, she heard him coming. She got it open and they run in the room, the bolt. Then she went back into the bedroom to the check in, check the window lock. She has you returned to the kitchen to turn off the light when the rap come. She began to shake a hair on her head, prick it into the hair scalp. Top, 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 top. Even when he heard his footstep going away, she was unable to move. At last, she sat down on the chair. She felt that she had come within in an inch of dying and had escaped. She would have to get away. Tomorrow she will sell all her things and buy a ticket back to come back to Arizona. She wo she woke up with the sun shining in her eyes for a long while. She didn't move, but lay there thinking about last night. It is almost as if I went there to tempt him to follow me. She thought. The idea seemed too close to the truth that I frightened her. She got up and went into the kitchen. My bag. She now, she had left into the corner when she fled from the hamburger shop. Well, it didn't matter. She must hurry if she was going to make plans for moving. She had some trouble with drawing the bolts. But after a few minutes of working, she opened the door and stood there, not believing that he, she saw. Swinging by, by its strap from the outside door knob was her cheap leather bag, as real as her most ample fears. She grabbed it in, uh, up in both hands, slammed the door shut, and began to cry in a way that she had never cried before. She could not take her eyes off the handbag. This message about the kind of the person she was that the war had left at her door. <laughs> well, she had an adventure, didn't she? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. Any of those words in there that we need to go back and look at and do a definition for? <laughs> I don't remember what is gloomy. Last time we see we gloomy, but I don't remember what is gloomy. Gloomy is like uh, black and dark or sad. Oh, okay. It's not happy. Gloomy is 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 kind of sad and depressed. And if it's talking about a gloomy day, it's usually the sun's not shining. It's dark outside. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember where gloomy was either and what it was yeah. talking about. Okay. So walking down. Okay, the other. Mm -hmm. Let me check over here. What is a good bolt? Is it why that a good bolt? Is it she was afraid? At night, was it the first, second, uh -oh. or first? Is it why that a good bolt? It's it's a like when you shut your door, you have a lock usually on the doorknob, and mm -hmm. some some doors have a lock up here. It's called oh. a deadbolt. Oh yeah, yeah, it's called a deadbolt. They're just calling it a bolt here. They're not calling it. A oh, okay, yes. But it's 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 a way to lock. 
a second lock on the door. The second lock, okay. Okay. Okay, I find that if she can close the door. I remember that one day, I don't remember if it was last year, when we saw that she knew she had had too much to drink. When when I used the had had, you remember? Had had, yes. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, where was that? Um, you write just the ones in the okay. second line, in the second you, part. You had had too much to drink. Uh -huh. It's... Um, Future perfect. Oh, okay. It meant she's telling this story. If if mm -hmm. it was happening right then, she would have sat said, "I had too much to drink," meaning it happened. Oh. But then she's she's talking about it was back when she went to that party. So it, she's saying she had had too much to drink oh so it's it sounds ridiculous uh to to say it but it's it's talk not it's talking about what happened in the past rather than what was happening uh, yeah does that make sense a little <laughs> yes i remember Mm -hmm. See any others? Okay, what is pricket? 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 What's in the out? first? Pricket is in the uh, in the other page. In the first, second, third, and the fourth line, they say prick into her scalp. Prick it or prick, prick it. Okay, pricked. Yeah. Oh, pricked. Pricked. Pricked prick. is like a stick. Yeah, it's like, oh, like a needle okay. stick. Like you stick with a needle. It's called mm -hmm. a prick sometimes. And okay. her. This meant that each hair on her head pricked into her scalp. So each hair on her head hurt like a needle stick. Oh, okay. So because she was so scared. Mm -hmm. Ah, here comes Sonia. Okay. Mm -hmm. First step going away. She wants to move the left side. And to her as soon as she would, she would come. Hey, Miss Sonia. Hi. There you are. Okay, we can hear you. <laughs> I can't see you, but I can hear you. Okay, let me see. <laughs> uh, it's hard to get everything on at one time. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had a Zoom meeting Tuesday night and one girl never could she never could get her video to come on. It never yeah, really? worked. So, <laughs> so we just we just looked at her blank space. We could talk to her, but we just couldn't see her. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> oh goodness. I think I have right now. Let me see. I start. Here it is. <laughs> ah, there you go. There you go. We see you now. We see you. <laughs> okay. We just got through reading a story on page 112. 112. Mm -hmm. 
Are you good? You yes. Doing good? <laughs> yeah. Kids and the family, the whole family doing okay? Yes. <laughs> Have y'all had the COVID? Uh, um, I think so. <laughs> I don't know. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're on. Oh, excuse me. Oh, goodness. <laughs> um, I'm not bored. I'm just for some reason got the yawns. I don't know why tonight. <laughs> All right. Our story tonight uh, was about a lady uh, that was scared. She was so scared uh, of a gang of boys. And I'll kind of okay. go over it a little bit because it's a lot to read. We could let Sonia read the whole thing. No, couldn't we? Poor Norma had to read the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> I like to read that. Try to read. <laughs> like practice. Okay. But uh, uh, her name was uh, Margaret, and Margaret was okay. scared. She lived in an apartment, uh, and she was scared of this group of boys, and she always saw them down at the subway. Uh, when she went in the subway and when she left the subway uh, to go uptown, and she was a little bit scared of one boy because she said he looked uh, like his face was green and he had a hawk nose, which it was kind of crooked like that. So his nose was crooked. So uh -huh. uh, he was uh, kept calling her Lucy and she didn't know why he called her Lucy. But um, one night she went to a party and she had six drinks. And while she was there at the party, she was talking a lot of uh, asking people why uh, or what they thought about the uh, boys on the street. And uh, so she knew she was talking too much and she knew she better get out of there. So she left and went to the coffee shop the, or the hamburger shop for a cup of coffee mm -hmm. and as she went in, um, she sat down and ordered her coffee and she went to pay and here come all the boys and the green faced hawk nosed boy was yes. with them and uh, she got scared. So she jumped up and she started running out of the coffee shop and she uh, heard footsteps behind her uh, mm -hmm. running behind her and she ran faster. And she got to her apartment and she ran up four flights of stairs and down the hall and got in the, to her apartment and locked the door and then went to check the windows in the bedroom to be sure they were locked. And she went back to the kitchen and when she got to the kitchen, she heard knocking on the door and he was going tap, 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 knocking on her door. So she really got scared then. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> uh, finally he went away. She heard him walking away, but she was still Going scared. Away. Sat down in a chair, and she thought, "Oh, I come within an inch of dying." And uh, she uh, said she was tired of that place. She was going to pack her things, and she was going to um, buy a mm -hmm. ticket to go to Arkansas. Not Arkansas. Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> Arizona, that's where she was going. <laughs> Wrong state. <laughs> uh, I think you said you need vacation in, in Arkansas. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> so the next morning, she woke up and the sun was shining in her face, but she kind of laid there thinking about what had happened the night before. And uh, it still frightened her. So she got up and she went to the kitchen and she suddenly realized that she left her bag or her purse uh, <laughs> at the count on the counter at the hamburger shop. Uh, she just said, well, it didn't matter. She must hurry if she was going to make plans for moving. Mm -hmm. So uh, she had some uh, trouble opening the door, the bolt on the door. Uh, so she finally got it open. And when she opened the door, what did she find? She found her purse hanging there or the leather bag hanging there um, on the doorknob. So she grabbed it up in both hands and slammed the door shut and began to cry in a way that she'd never cried before. 
She could not take her eyes off the bag. This message about the kind of person she was that the world had left at her door. So Miss Margaret had an adventure with the with the guys that she was scared of. Uh, and she lived in fear for those few days. And I better quit talking or I'm going to answer all the questions. <laughs> I've done that before, you know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, there are, let's see, how many questions do we have? 10 questions. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to answer those questions and then we will go over them. I'll give you, let me set my timer for two minutes mm -hmm. uh where's my timer i can't find my timer well middle sticks where is it mm -hmm. oh there it is okay timer two minutes go Okay, you get them all or you need another minute? One minute more. <laughs> One minute more, all yes. right.
Okay. Got them now or need another minute? Okay. I think it's okay. It's okay, Sonia? Um, I'm not sure, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sonia didn't get to hear the whole story. She just got my yes. recap. So that has, she's at a disadvantage. So, uh, but we'll help you out there. Okay. okay. <laughs> Let's see. All right. First question. Read, or actually, it's fill in the blank. It's not really a question. Mm -hmm. Margaret is frightened by when she see this strange boy. See, I put see. I don't know. Mm -hmm. She could. You could say that because she was frightened when she saw the strange boy. Yeah. If you'll look up in um, the second paragraph, the first sentence it says. She was afraid from the day she moved in. Mm -hmm. So she was actually afraid or frightened from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. But she was the also beginning? frightened. Uh, letter B. Oh. Margaret is frightened from the very beginning. But you could also say that she was frightened when she sees the strange boy because she was mm -hmm. the one, he was the one that scared her the most, yeah. wasn't mm -hmm. he? Mm -hmm. So actually you could have B and C for answer to that question. But I think the one that the writer or the, the uh, book is looking right. for, she was afraid from the very beginning. <clears throat> um. Number two, the thing that frightens Margaret most about the boys who hang out on the corner is their blank. I have his color, but it's no answer here. I said H, race, size. Okay, they say K. I put A's. H. A for age, yes. If you'll look in the one, two, third paragraph. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was the age of the groups on the street late at night mm -hmm. that made her most uneasy. Uh -huh. So the answer would be A, age. H. Age. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number three. Why does the boy call Margaret Lucy? Uh, he think he's, he thinks this is her name. I think <laughs> I don't, <laughs> don't know. know. <laughs> yeah, because the author does know for a reason. She reminds him of her mother. No, he knows his unknown is her. Maybe. <laughs> How about look at D? The author doesn't offer a for reason. reason. Okay. I could not find a reason in there that he called her that. Uh, yeah. I think he, he just started calling her that because he wanted to. They say only uh, Lucy, Lucy, only for yeah. okay, she put attention or call her. Yeah. So I don't call think that the, the, the author or the person that wrote it really didn't say why mm -hmm. he was calling her Lucy. And she certainly didn't talk to him, so she couldn't ask him why. So. <laughs> She just ran from him, didn't it? Okay. So the answer is that to nickname him, only. Right. It's kind of like a nickname. Like a nickname. I guess uh -huh. he was thinking. Uh -huh. um, so the answer to number three is D. Okay. Author doesn't offer a reason. Okay. Now number four, I got two answers to. Uh -huh. Number. <laughs> Number four, we can guess the way that Mr. T speaks that he blank. Mm, was most likely born in another country. That could be one answer. By the way he talked, let's see, that's in one, two, three, four, five, the fifth paragraph. He said, why that a good bolt? You know, be afraid with that bolt. I fix it myself. So you can tell by the way he talks, he's from another country. 
he's mm-hmm. he's not talking great English. Mm-hmm. Um, so he could be from another country. And the other thing I think you could answer there was that he was not very concerned. Yeah, um, I have that. I put yeah. B. Yeah, yeah, I put B. B. Uh-huh. That's B what I think. Because he said, "What would, what would she do?" She wondered if somebody broke in. He didn't seem to really care. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so I, I think you could have two answers to that question. Uh, he didn't con- seem seem very concerned. Letter B mm-hmm. and then letter D, he was most likely born in another country. Another so that could country. have two answers. So. Yeah. All right. Number five. Based on the story, Margaret normally uses blank to get around. I think buses. <laughs> Sorry. I think buses. Did it talk about buses? What 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 uh, transportation did it talk about? They can this guy okay. over here. Oh. Where did she see the boys going in and coming out? The the subway, say no? The Subways? subway. The subway. Subway? So she, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, let's see. In the fourth paragraph, it said their eyes followed her when she went into the subway station to go uptown. And their eyes were still yeah. there waiting when she returned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so probably least. she went by subway. We know subway. She, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. She didn't have a car, we know, because she was yeah, running. Yeah, she didn't have a car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Number six. Margaret acts the way she does at the party because... She doesn't care what the other think of her. She doesn't care what the other think of her. Uh, yes, that's correct. Mm-hmm. She doesn't care what the others think of her because in the um, in the second column, the one, mm-hmm. two, third paragraph, she says. Uh, I think I'd rather go. And she walked out not really caring what they mm-hmm. thought about her. Mm-hmm. So that is mm-hmm. correct. Letter D, I mean, letter A, she doesn't letter care a. what the others mm-hmm. think about her. Mm-hmm. Okay. Margaret, number seven, Margaret understands that the reason she probably went to the coffee shop was that... She was afraid to go home. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, she wanted to become friends with the girl. Mm-mm. Wanted to take the girl with boy. It's, it says in that paragraph, let's say one, two. I put C. Because the first she wanted to become friends with the green boy's face, boy, I think so. She wanted to tip the green face, boy. She wants, she was afraid to go home. She was afraid. She was too drunk to go home. Or maybe because she drank too much, she took, take a little bit of coffee for her. I think that's why her mind. Yes, I think because she was too drunk. Because it says in that paragraph, on her way home, Mm -hmm. she decided to stop at the all night hamburger shop for a cup of coffee. So she probably knew she needed that coffee to kind of get over her. Clear a little bit her mind. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that would be letter D. She was too drunk to go home. Mm -hmm. all right number eight when margaret sees that her handbag is missing blank she decides to go back to arizona 
Well, she decided to go back to Arizona before she found out her handbag was missing. Mm -hmm. Look on that, that second page. Let's see the second, third paragraph. Mm -hmm. No, the sec. Yeah. Even when she heard his footsteps going away, she was unable to move. At last, she sat down in a chair. She felt that she had come within an inch of dying and had escaped. Mm -hmm. She would have to get away. Tomorrow, she would sell all of her things and buy a ticket and go to Arizona. Mm -hmm. So that's when she decided to that. Now, two paragraphs later in that paragraph in the second column, and uh, no, the last call, the last paragraph. This, this, this says when my bag swinging by its straps from the outside doorknob was her cheap leather bag. So she didn't find the bag until the next morning. Um, but after she had um, got up that next morning, she went, she got up and went into the kitchen. My bag, that's mm -hmm. when she realized her bag was missing. Yes, yeah, she is cool. Yeah. So cool. she had already decided to go home. Um, so she got up. She, she knew she had left it on the counter when she fled from the hamburger shop. Well, mm -hmm. it didn't matter. So what answer does that tell you? Mm. Is they don't really care. Right. She doesn't really care. She didn't care mm -hmm. about her bag at that point. She just wanted to get out of that city. Yeah, she mm -hmm. came back with her bag or no with that. She did say to come back. Okay. Yeah, she just she just wanted to get out of the city. So okay. yeah, the answer to that one is C, she really doesn't care. Mm -hmm. Uh number nine. Now I have two answers for number nine. <laughs> 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 uh, I may be In wrong, but boy, most likely, because of Margaret. <laughs> the green face boy, most likely. Hmm. The green face boy is most likely cares about Margaret. Is a moo girl. That's Margaret it says no. Wants to harm Margaret. Just harm. Well, we can we can probably say that he's not a mugger and he doesn't want to harm her. He could have already uh -huh. done that, couldn't he? So it's between A and C. And I think both of those are good answers. I wonder mm -hmm. if he cared about Margaret because he kept calling her Lucy. And cares about Margaret. Yeah, maybe he cares about her. Uh-huh. But he also could have thought that Margaret was a snob. Um, you know what a snob is? Like she, she thought she was better than them because she ran away. When he tried to give her her purse at the, at the coffee shop, she ran away. <laughs> and then he knew that she was in the apartment, but she wouldn't answer the door. So mm -hmm. he might have thought she was a snob. In that last sentence, it says she could not take her eyes off the handbag. This message about the kind of person she was that the world had left at her door. So she's saying this message about the kind of person I am. She was mm -hmm. thinking about herself. She was mm -hmm. thinking, I thought I was better than they were, but I'm not. They were kind enough to bring my purse to me mm -hmm. uh, they very well could have kept that purse and kept the money or whatever was in it so i think the real answer is that he thought uh margaret was a snob mm -hmm. okay. but i also think that uh he cared about her too okay i that's just my personal opinion <laughs> okay. sometimes we have to do it that way okay sometimes when you read a story uh -huh. everybody interpret, interp different interprets way. the story differently yeah. it's mm -hmm. just like reading a bible verse sometimes yes. you might read a 
Norma might read a Bible verse and it means something to her. Mm -hmm. Sonia may read the same Bible verse, but means something totally different to her. Just depends on what you need or what you hear at that time. So uh, that can happen. Speaking of Bible verse, I forgot to do the devotion. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> okay, I'll do that after we finish these questions. We'll go back and do that. We got one more question. Okay. Okay. Uh, number 10, this story probably takes place in... For me in the city, for the subways, I think so. The city, yes. The city, yeah. You're right. That's a, That was a good hint to have the subway. Um, mm -hmm. Not many places have a subway unless it's a big city. So mm -hmm. you yeah. are correct. Mm -hmm. Probably took place in a city. Now, let's see. Uh, let's answer these two questions, and then we'll be through with the uh, questions about the story, and then we'll... I'll flip back and do the <laughs> do the uh, devotion. Uh, let's see. Why do you think Margaret cries so hard when she sees her handbag on the doorknob? What did it say? Let's see. The sentence said she grabbed it up in both hands, slammed the door shut, and began to cry in a way that she never cried before. Why do you think she cried? I think because she don't feel good thinking bad things about the the, the boy, boy the, the, the green boy <laughs> face mm -hmm. <laughs> yes yeah. the and green boy thought, face you feel uh, guilty you feel like guilty yeah, oh. guilty. Yes, guilty. <laughs> yeah. yeah because Very he thought good. the boy is um grabbing the money or yeah uh, scared her and it's not what the she thought <laughs> that's right she she thought the very worst of them yeah and they were not bad boys at all yeah okay an american president once said we have nothing to fear but fear itself think about margaret in this story and explain what this quote means what do you think that quote means we have nothing to fear but fear itself <sighs> We need to be brave. <laughs> you need to be brave. <laughs> we need to be brave. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, sometimes we just fear thing. We're just we're just afraid for no reason. And yes. Margaret had no reason to be afraid. The boys mm -hmm. had done nothing to her, had they? Uh, they just looked at her. And one of them called her Lucy. That was it. They'd never thrown anything at her. They'd never tried to touch her. They, they'd never chased yes. her other than to, you know, bring her back. But they'd never done anything to her. Uh, but she was scared. Uh, and it says she was scared in the very, what was it in that first? Um, that the day that she moved. The boy, <laughs> yeah, the boys in the street reminded her of tough gangs in the movies. Mm -hmm. And the apartment yeah. building was shabby. She watched too much movies. She watched too much movies. <laughs> and, and she thought they were like them. So she yeah. was scared of nothing. Uh, but sometimes... Uh, like in this, in this saying, we have nothing to fear, but fear itself. She was just afraid because she thought she needed to be afraid. She was not afraid for any reason. She didn't have mm -hmm. any reason to be afraid. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. Let's take a break and go do the devotion. <laughs> I forgot all that. <laughs> Oops. Miss Judy will be not happy with me. All right. Let me get over here and share screen. Okay. I had it ready to do. I just didn't. Um, I just didn't do it. Oh, come on here. There we go. All right. Here's the picture Miss Judy gave us. And it's talking about uh, when the Holy Spirit uh, led Jesus out into uh, 
uh, the desert and the devil was there and the devil was tempting him with all these things mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. turn the rocks into bread and you know he was the king and to jump off and, and you know I, and he was just trying to get him to do anything that he said and he would not do what the devil said um and then uh, at that point, Jesus had gone without food or water for 40 days and 40 nights. And he was very <laughs> hungry, was yeah. very thirsty. And that's what the devil was doing. He was taking advantage of Jesus in his weakened state. And sometimes that's what the devil does to us. Uh, he knows that we're in a weakened state. Maybe, maybe we're afraid. Maybe we're scared. Maybe we're sad. Uh, whatever the state that we're in. He takes advantage of it and tries to come in and, and tempt us to do things that um, we shouldn't do. Uh, so we need to be strong like Jesus was there in the desert and tell him, no, like get behind me, Satan, go away. Uh, so you can go to Matthew 4, 1, 2 and uh, I'll read that. Um, and uh, <laughs> But basically... Uh, stay true to yourself and uh, don't let the devil tempt you is the the best rule of thumb okay now stop share whoops there. all right and let's get back to the lesson i'm sorry i okay. forgot that i should have started <laughs> out with that i just forgot it's okay Okay, we've got two more. Let's see, what time is it? Oh, almost. Ooh, we got 10 minutes. Oh, I was going to be done at eight o'clock, but hey, it's wow. okay. We'll, <laughs> we'll finish that. We just got two things to do. So okay. we'll, they're not too hard. Um, they're a little bit easier than, the, than uh, the lesson before. So in part four, we're talking about the city. We're talking about things that are in the city. There's four categories here, movies, nightclubs, museums, and stadiums. There's so a good. list of words over to the left-hand side. You're gonna put those words at the left into the correct category. And you'll use okay. each word only once. Okay, okay. that makes sense? Okay. Yes. okay. All right, I'll give you about three minutes on the air. Okay.
Need another minute? Yes. <laughs> bueno. Okie dokie. Okay. Please. Ushers, 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 ushers.
Ready? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Always got All right. We have four categories, movies, nightclub, museums, stadiums. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Norma, mm -hmm. what four words go under movie? Tickets, preview, screen. And the last one I put, Usher. I don't know if it's correct. That is correct. <clears throat> that is correct. Okay. okay. Uh, the next one is museums. Sonia, what four words go under museums? Mm, I have a sculptures. A sc a sculptures. Sculpture, yes. Mm -hmm. And painting. And I have a guard, but I don't know. Guard, yes, that is correct. Sometimes museums have uh, things that are very uh, expensive, like some of their paintings are very uh, yes. expensive. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's, sometimes they may have some jewels from jewelry. a country coming over. Yeah, that's very Royal jewelry. Yeah, so they do have guards. <clears throat> that is correct. Uh -huh. And one more. One more. Kind of like paintings, but I put drawing. Drawings, yes. Uh, where it's kind of like sketches, uh, charcoal sketches or something that you've drawn. Uh, mm -hmm. not, not necessarily oh. a painting that you've painted, but it can be just a drawing. Yes. Okay. Those are the four things that would be in museums. Okay, Norma, what about nightclubs? Nightclubs, I put bartenders, cocktails, waitress, uh, hear jazz music. <laughs> jazz music, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, uh, that is correct. And the fourth one is stadiums. Uh, what four words go in there, uh, Sonia? Uh, lacquer rooms, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. scoreboards, mm -hmm. bleachers, and oh. goal posts. Okay. A scoreboard. Scoreboard. Mm -hmm. You had goal post on, yeah. 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 Uh, bleachers, goal posts, lockers, and scoreboard. Yes, that is mm -hmm. correct. All right. Very good. <clears throat> that was kind of a different. Um, uh, exercise that we've never had anything like that before where we put things in categories so that mm -hmm. was a, that was a different one uh, but that's that's a good exercise okay number okay. five we're going to start use or we'll be using the ending uh, of a word m-e-n-t like argument appointment, mm -hmm. uh, appointment. department disappointment disappointment mm -hmm. excitement Same. improvement improvement installment installment pavement pavement payments payment and refreshment refreshment okay any one of those do you need a definition or kind of clarification on no, it will, will kind of define it when you put it in the in the sentence. But I just want to be sure you knew what most what they were. I'll give you about five five or six minutes to work on this because this one's a little bit harder. There was an argument in there for argument.
¿Qué le pasó a Sonia? She went away. Yes. Regresé. Aquí estoy. There you are. I'm here. You went away. No, I'm here. Uh -huh. Need more time? I do, but I know this well. Mm -hmm. I have four. I'm confused and four, but I think I. <laughs> Maybe we can fix well, it. These are these are a little bit harder. Um, let we'll read through and and uh, I'll let you all read the sentences and try to fill in the blank. If you don't have the answer, we will help you and get it all get them all filled in. So let's see, Sonia, you want to do number one? Yes. Um. When people who have grown up in the country come to the city, they are often in for a big department. Department? Yep, department. Department. Hmm. I put excitement. Excitement? I don't know. Excitement. Mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> That when people who have a growing growing up in the country come to the city, they are often enough for a big excitement. Yeah, I, don't know. I think this. I think they're they're in for disappointment. 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 <laughs> well, I tell you, let's skip that one and let's go on to the other. And then we'll come Put back. Disappointment in us. Yeah, let's okay. see if we you let's see. If oh we yeah, use because it's unhappy, right? Yeah. Because they they want to go to the people in the country want to go to the big city, but when they get there, there's all this noise and, oh, and yeah. you know, cars yeah, going right. everywhere <laughs> and pollution and all this stuff. That's what I think. Yeah. But I neighbors are around <laughs> <laughs> close but to my house. <laughs> Excitement would be another one too because they would be excited to get there. However, I think excitement fits in another area, but we'll let's look and see. We might be able to, to switch them around. Okay, number two, Norma. Uh, the first shock is saying that there is much more pavement, pavement mm -hmm. than pavement. there is a grass. Right. Pavement, then more, pavement. more sidewalks and yes, roads sidewalks. And things like mm -hmm. that. You don't they see don't too see... much grass in the city. If you think about a city like New York City, oh you don't yeah, see much grass there, do you? Uh, maybe yeah, people come in very fast. They yes. don't have nothing to yes. nothing. <laughs> yes, yes, <Yeah>. time. <laughs> they number, don't have nothing time. <laughs> number three. Uh, the second shock is finding out how much they have to pay for sodas and hot dogs at the refreshment stands. Yes, okay. I put same. Mm -hmm. A refreshment, that is correct. All right, mm -hmm. number four, Norma. Still, another shock is watching how everybody seems to the origin, origin, origin off somewhere as they if they are late for one argument i don't know if this is appointment appointment late for one yeah you're appointment? late for your appointment yeah, yeah. yeah because we okay. are sorry Everybody every has time okay <laughs> okay so, uh number five oh yeah it cost so much to live in a city that most people have to buy items on the installment. Insta I don't know how to say install installment installment plan installment plan yes installment mm -hmm. plan. that is correct and that goes along with number six number mm -hmm. six the reason that plan. by making monthly payment Mm -hmm. As much items as the stop TVs, et 
etc that they can own more own more own more, own more. yes um they have to things are so expensive they can't afford to go out and buy them all at once so they have to pay on installments which means a monthly payment a monthly mm -hmm. so five payments. and six kind of go together okay number seven Only money they argue is an excitement upon only nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, owing money, they argue. Uh, and you don't even argue. have to put they argue. Let's drop out they argue. argue. That's mm -hmm. a little okay. bit easy. Owing money is owing an money, argue is upon owning nothing at all. Owing money or making the payments is an improvement upon owning or having nothing uh -huh. at all. This one's a little bit confusing because of the two words, owing uh -huh. and owing. owing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, owing money or needing to pay money okay. is an improvement. Uh, basically, this sentence means if they didn't, pay money or owe money they wouldn't have anything okay they would have nothing at all if they didn't okay. have uh, a, uh, a payment so they could buy a couch and a refrigerator and a stove yes. and that's an improvement on not having it at all okay. this, this sentence is very very confusing Uh, especially okay. with those two words, owing and owning, because yeah. when I, the first time I read it, I read owing in both places. Uh, yeah. Not right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, number eight. Underpaid is this, this improvement, improvement? May seem to make sense, but many people spend a great deal of time worrying about how they're going to pay their monthly bills. I put this in improvements. Improvement. Improvements, yes. Okay. Improvement goes in number seven, but argument goes in number eight. It kind of goes along with, with, I change with it. <laughs> number seven. If you look in number seven, it says owing money, they argue. Oh, it's just improvement. Yeah. Is an improvement. Now, number eight says oh, yes. this argument, and that's what it's referring okay. to, the argument in number seven. Okay. This argument may seem to make sense, but many people spend a great deal of time worrying about how they're going to pay their monthly bills. Okay. Meaning the argument for monthly payments and so they can have more is good it's an improvement but then they worry about how they're going to pay those monthly bills okay all right number nine mm, the department stores don't help this matter any for they Windows are always filled with tempting goods. Right. Department store windows in big cities always have real pretty displays with lots of pretty clothes and, and, and um, <laughs> uh, yeah. they, they might have a living room, you know, all set out where you would want a new couch and a new chair and a new TV. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Number 10. Number 10 is never, never less for many people. They, oh, what I put over here, <laughs> exciting that a city offer is the well worth the price of all the hurrying and worrying. Okay, this is where the excitement comes in. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, for many people, the excitement that a city offers is well worth the price of all the hurrying and the worrying. Yes. So yeah, that one was that one was a little bit harder. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Next week we're going to start on lesson 15. We mm -hmm. will start with it. We will try to finish most of it. I will also have some um I'm working on some scramble sentences. I'll have some scramble sentences for you and we're going to uh, do a little bit more on pronunciation. Start doing a little bit more okay. on pronunciation. 
especially the ed i've noticed in the in the yeah, ED, yeah. <laughs> we having a little bit more trouble so if you can be sure you can find your your list that looks like this mm -hmm. the pronunciation of the eds <clears throat> and have that with you next week as we uh do some reading and pronouncing yeah uh, words Let's see okay. how we here all righty whoops better move my sticky so i'll know where we're at okay lesson 15 okay that's where we are for next week and i got let's see both of you down i've got you marked here tonight i think i have got everything done wow okay even if i did forget the devotion we went back and did it so that's okay <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Any questions? No, we know. <laughs> For next week. <laughs> All That's right. I will see you next Thursday, six thirty. Okay. 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 I'm trying to every. six thirty. <laughs> All right. Okay. Or I'll say six thirty, or whenever you can get on. So <laughs> you can, you can go back and watch the first part of it and and catch the what uh -huh. you missed. Yeah. But basically, all you missed was us just talking for about ten minutes, wasn't it? And uh, uh, and then doing the reading the story. So okay. yes. Wait, you can and always you did go the, back. Last week you did like the lesson 14 with Pedro. Yes, yes, yes. we okay. did lesson 13 with Pedro, I believe. We did the last part of it, the first part of uh, 14. Yeah. Okay. I want to watch the video and you talk. Okay. The... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> For Pedro, was on. Pedro and Norma were both on last week. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, go back and watch that and catch up on that. That'll be perfect. Okay. All right. Yes. Well, I will see you next week. If you have any questions, give me a text. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank you, Miss Phyllis. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Have okay. a good night. Thank you. Nice you to all see too. You. Stay all safe. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. Happy Bye. to see you, Sonia. <laughs> nice to see you too. Bye.